This is an artificial intelligence generated audio. In this video I will show you how you can draw with a capacitive stylus on a cheap Android tablet. I am not talking here for an active stylus, also called digital, which includes digital components inside the pen that communicate with a digitizer on a touch device. These work on more expensive tablets and devices. The pros of using these pens is that they are pressure sensitive, accurate and usually have useful buttons on them. As many aspiring artists cannot afford to purchase an expensive device, a cheap alternative is to use a capacitive stylus. These are also called passive styluses as they just emulate a finger touching a screen. This is done by using a tip made of rubber, conductive foam or metal such as copper. These styluses do not need to be powered and can be used on any multi-touch surface where a finger can be used. The problem is that stylus tips made of rubber are often large so it's difficult to get precise notes or drawings. There is no enhanced accuracy or pressure sensitivity with these types of styluses. For this tutorial I will use a rather inexpensive Samsung tablet, which I purchased more than 4 years ago. I will use a capacitive disc stylus pen. This is the product that I purchased some time ago. It is no longer available on Amazon but if you search for disc stylus you will find many similar products. The disc tip enables the stylus to draw due to its size. With most cheap tablets, you cannot draw with small tipped pens. The disc tip is transparent though. This allows you to see through on the screen where exactly you are pointing at and enables you to get some accuracy for your writing and drawing. Let's first try to draw directly on the tablet. For this, I will use Artrage on Google Android. It is a rather inexpensive app. The problem with most of these apps is that they have a limited canvas resolution or perform poorly with high resolution images. This is of course, unless you own a better tablet. In my tablet, Artrage gives me a maximum resolution of 2048 by 2048 pixels. The good thing with Artrage, is that you can use layers and load penciled pages to ink, or images to trace. As you can see, you can zoom or rotate as you see fit. In order to record this, my hand is at an angle, so I cannot sketch very well. Nevertheless, this will do for now. There is certainly some delay on the strokes. On the other hand this tablet is a bit old. I guess you will get better results with newer tablets. Is it perfect? No it is not. Does it work? Yes it does. And you will get better at it with practice. You will at least be able to practice on different strokes and get different results. This is of course until you can afford to purchase a high quality Wacom tablet. The second option is to use the AnyDesk remote control app on both a PC and an Android device. This will enable you to use the disk stylus to draw from your tablet directly to your computer using Adobe Photoshop. In this short exhibition, I click on the AnyDesk app first on my Windows computer and then on my tablet. Make sure the button, Allow to Draw on Screen, is enabled. In your Windows pen settings, the, Let me use my pen as a mouse in some desktop apps, should also be enabled. Once I enable the brush tool in Photoshop, I can use the tablet to draw while actually looking at what I am drawing. The end result is taking place on my PC, where there is no resolution limit or the need to transfer files from one device to the other. That being said, you still need your mouse to click undo. You will also need the keyboard to type. The good thing is that you can use the tablet to zoom for precise drawing, without also zooming on the PC screen. This method is far from perfect, but it enabled me to draw this image of Batman. Of course, I used Photoshop's pen tool on the computer, to draw perfect paths, lines and curves. But all natural strokes were drawn using my tablet and a disk stylus. It should be noted here that for professional results, it is better to purchase a Wacom tablet. It is worth the investment. Here is a side-by-side -side exhibition. I had to hang the tablet on the monitor so don't expect perfect strokes. But you can see that it works. The largest screen is my PC monitor. Here is the finalized version of my Batman sketch. It was a learning experience and I will definitely do better in my next project. This is my first video for this channel. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to motivate me to shoot more videos.